Hey, so I got to work today to find out how to pack it. Yeah. Now this is from the United States, so I don't know what it is. But it could be a few things. Either way, I think this is going to fall into my April Blu-ray pickups. We'll find out. This is a Hex Media release. Oddly enough, this was this is the first movie, but they had released the sequel first. Mm. But I picked that up, so I figured, you know what? I gotta get this as well. Um, honestly, they should have come out at the same time, so I could have gotten them at, together, but whatever. There you go. Lord of Tears. This is a special edition release. I think it's got the DVD, the Blu-ray, maybe a CD soundtrack, a book. I don't know what's in here. I'll have to unbox it later to find out. But uh, yeah, have not seen the movie or its sequel, if you saw the previous package opening, I guess. <laughs> I can't remember which month that was. February, March, maybe? But uh, yeah, had to grab this. Looking forward to seeing it. It's it's got the whole owl man thing going on and uh, yeah let me know if you've seen it what you thought of it comment down below but no spoilers because you know like I said I haven't seen it I'm sure there are others who haven't as well so let's not spoil it for anyone let's just let me know what you thought just want the thoughts don't need any anything more <laughs> anyways there you go yeah starting off April with a bang or a hoot hoot <laughs> anyways I'm sure there will be more to come so let's check those out now so got to the condo for the last few you know last days of condo life <laughs> essentially packing doing the last of packing up means I have to check the mail and such and I found I had a package yes and this is from James Bickert Big World Pictures so I kinda know what this is though Oddly enough, I'm, I thought I'd sent new address information, so, yeah, we will see. I'm pretty sure I, that that's what this is. It's part of a Kickstarter, so it will be part of the April Blu-ray pickups here. I'm sure that's what this is going to be. It should be a Blu-ray. It is. It it. Whoa. This is some crazy stuff. So the. It is. Frankenstein created bikers Kickstarter backer special edition. Um. Now, oddly enough, I'm. I have a feeling I backed this. Uh, Kickstarter twice, and I'll have to look into it because I do believe I backed it because they had them separate. You couldn't get Dear God No on Blu-ray and uh, Frankenstein Created Bikers on Blu-ray um, from the same perk. And of course, they decided to just put them together. So, I should technically get two copies, I think. I will have to look into it, but yeah, that's awesome. I'm, I'm kind of, I mean, there's, it doesn't say it on the front cover. Like, I guess it's the Kickstarter cover and I'm sure there's probably a reversible cover inside but I'm not unboxing it today but it also came with some uh, biker <laughs> kind of like kind of like baseball card type stuff that's kind of cool and it came with this I don't know what this is, this is a sticker of some sort vinyl stickery type thing Probably came with a letter here. Yeah, so this is just a little letter from James himself. So, 
yeah, awesome. Looking forward to watching it. I, uh, I started watching... I think I've started watching it twice. Dear God, no. Once was at uh, Fan Expo. They were showing it there, and I started watching. I was like, nope, nope. I wanna, I want to, to own this. And so then I saw that it come out on Blu-ray, and then I think I did it. Was it when it was streaming? Did it stream for free or something like that to Kickstarter backers, or maybe it was that was Frankenstein Created Bikers? I can't remember. One of them screened for free, and I started watching. I was like, nope. Not going to do that. I want to get the copies myself in my hands. So, yeah. I haven't actually watched either of them all the way through as far as I know. But anyways, yeah. Just a small little package. It's just something I actually have to look into because I have a feeling I backed them twice. I have a feeling I backed them twice and I just have to confirm that. Um and look into it uh, to make sure because if it is I should uh, you know get in touch with them to get a secondary copy essentially um, but yeah more to come for the month of April probably probably we'll just have to see we got great buys for April from HMV even though <laughs> it's not an HMV bag why because they run out of them but at least they got a bag right yes this is now 70% off I think um, it's, it's April so they're gonna be closing soon and um, yeah it's a lot of this stuff I had heard that they were eventually this is not the location closest to me but one in the city and I had heard that they were going to be closing down soon um, and that probably later on this week they were going to be dropping the price to 80% off um, but at the same time I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it to this particular location um, because well it, it isn't the one closest to me um, and it's funny after Going to this one, I went to go to the one that was closest to me to take advantage of the 70% off, and they had already closed. Oddly enough, I thought they were going to be open until almost to the end of the sale, but um, I guess not. I guess they consolidated in towards, you know, closer and closer in towards the city, and um, they had shut that one down. So <laughs> this was the only 70% off uh, stuff I was able to grab. Now, one of the things was is... The two for 25 uh, titles are now $3 a piece, whereas if I had waited, apparently they were going to be $2 a piece at the 80% off. But you know what? I just figured I'd grab what I could, not knowing if I was going to be able to get to them um, at the, um, uh, you know, the 80% off sale portion. So I grabbed the species. Um, I grabbed this for the card, essentially. I think uh, Scream Factory's come out with the Species ones. I got Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2 again for the card. Um, one, I wasn't sure if, if I had it or not, but at 70% 70 70 off, I figured, you know what, I'm going to grab it now, and that's Scooby-Doo, Curse of the Speed Demon, oh, and the WWE, oh, I guess it used to be WWE, but it's not WWE, it's just WWE. World Wrestling or something. Or World Wrestling Studios. So on Blu-ray it's regularly 25, which at 70% off ends up being uh, $7.50, so not a problem there. Um, never even heard of this, but I figured at 2 for 30, which ends up being you know $3, I'll pick up Snake and Mongoose. <laughs> uh, and then this one here, uh, it says it's uh, uh, a crazy thriller. Um, Truly haunting tale, serenely suspenseful and riveting. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to grab it for three bucks. Why not? That's Martha Marcia May Marlene. Never heard of it. Well, I kind of have heard of it, but I don't know. This one I picked up. I know the girls have this already. I don't know if they have it on Blu-ray um, or if not, or if it's just on DVD. But I figured, you know what? I'll grab this 
uh, just in case at you know three bucks why not and that's Alvin the Chipmunks Chipwrecked um, this one was $20 uh, two for 20 which meant it was two dollars I think I could be wrong I can't remember yeah two for 20s ended up being two dollars so I picked this up this is the Watchmen motion comic type stuff um, so motion comics and the tales of the black freighter on blu-ray um, this one i wasn't sure if i owned it or not so at three dollars i figured you know what i'll just make sure it's the last house on the left <coughs> and you'll see a lot of these are the two for 25 titles Um, for the front card, I picked up Carrie, the original. Uh, AVP Requiem. Child's Play, for, again for the card. And then AVP, the first one, Aliens vs. Predator. Not sure if I have them or not. Figured I'd, you know, I think I may have the, the box set. I can't, I couldn't remember, but whatever. Three bucks a pop to get the AVPs, why not? Then this one here, regularly $45, um, so at 70% off, ends up being under 15 but it is a 3D release, and it is a film that I wanted to see, so I figured, you know what, I'm going to grab it now just in case I don't make it to the 80% off, though it is something I would have liked to have waited for 80% off, and that's Exodus Gods and Kings, yes from the director of Gladiator um, because you know Ridley Scott doesn't have a big enough name whatever uh, what else do I got here oh yeah some DVD titles so this again is two for 25 so three dollars the rats and this is quite heavy I'm just, I don't know what's in there but it's got quite a bit uh, pick this one up no didn't know anything about it blood punch this was regularly $20, so uh, actually there's a couple here that are regular $20, so at 70% off, um, ends up being $6. I figured, you know what, $6, I'll pick these up. First one is Antidote on DVD, and then Ghost Storm. And then the rest of the stuff I picked up was a bunch, oh no, not all of it, there's still some other things here. So another title I had been wanting to pick up uh, ever since the, st the sale started, but I wasn't going to pay full price for it, was the animated film which uh, came out and actually got the Oscar nomination. Uh, it didn't win, but it was uh, it was a nom it was nominated, and that's Boy and the World on Blu-ray with the slipcover. This is a, an Ali Abra uh, film. Um, I love what he's done. You, you can see a lot of his stuff on YouTube and uh, on the internet and stuff for free. Um, and this was I think his first feature film length thing I could be wrong but I figured I wanted to get that I think it ended up being seven or eight bucks or something like that or maybe maybe it was twelve dollars I can't remember I don't remember what it was regular and of course you can see it's the stickers off but I knew I knew it was at seventy percent off it was worth picking up um, then I grabbed this one I, honestly this is kind of I think maybe been the first one I saw and started getting me on this two for 25 kick and that's high crimes and then I picked up a whole bunch of uh, TV because they were also two for 25 so sets of American Dad yes I've got volume one two three five six seven Did I get eight? Five, six, seven of American Dad, um, all three dollars a pop, um, and oddly they're not they're not listed as seasons; they're listed as volumes. So I don't know how that particularly works, um, but you know what? I figured I could get a whole bunch of them at three dollars each. I might as well just get them. Um, I don't even know if they're on Blu-ray. Yes, I, I do normally get things like that on Blu-ray, but whatever and then because they were there as well I got a whole bunch of family guy as well now I do believe I have maybe the first 
three seasons of Family Guy. I'm not sure. But this is volumes two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the, what is this, Partial Terms of Endearment, banned from TV. I think this is an episode with a few other episodes thrown in because it's only 23 minutes. So this is a single episode. Um, so yeah, single episode for three dollars, it's worth it. And then throw in all of these other sets. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So that is HMV <laughs> at 70% off. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make it there again when it hits 80% off. Um, I humming and hawing. I know it's coming, you know, within the next day or two, three days, and then I don't know. I guess it's gonna go until they close. Um, so this may be the end of my April pickups because I don't know if uh, I'm, I'm probably getting something else in the mail. I don't know. Um, but if not, thanks for watching. <laughs> Till next video, take care. But if it is, let's check them out right now.